How's it everyone? This is Lokohol and in today's video we are going to be crafting a pair of poisonous concoction gloves for Damocles. Damocles is a viewer of the channel. The modifiers we're looking for are elevated chaos damage over time multiplier which you can see here at tier 2 and then culling strike. We're not going to elevate culling strike but to get started we first need to get Tier 1 Chaos Dot with a second influence modifier so we can attempt the Orb of Dominance to elevate that mod. And in order to get that, we're going to be using Aberrant Fossils, which give us more Chaos modifiers and no Lightning modifiers. Let's go. So I'm going to type Chaos here just so it highlights. There we go. Chaos damage over time, but it's tier 2. That is tier one. So we are seeing it a lot, but ah, okay. This is unfortunate. We did hit two influence modifiers, but chaos dot is tier two. So we don't want to elevate it to tier one. There is tier one, no other influence modifiers. So we're going to keep going just with aberrant fossils and looking for that chaos damage over time the second influence mod we did see it a fair bit but just not all with a second influence modifier aha here we go at last okay so here we have tier one chaos dot and percent dexterity which are both influence modifiers and now we can use an orb of dominance to try and elevate that so it's going to remove one of the modifiers and then upgrade the tier of the other. So obviously we're hoping to elevate chaos damage over time, which we did. Wonderful. All right. So that was fairly easy. Now the next step is going to be using an Awakener's Orb. So what we need to do for this, we're just going to awaken it Orb this. It's going to take one influence modifier from the item. In this case, the only influence modifier is Culling Strike and apply it to this item. So it'll keep one influence mod from each item, reroll the rest, and let's see what happens. Culling Strike, Chaos, Dot, and Dexterity. That Dexterity is not too beautiful, but it could be worse. Now what do we do? There's a couple of things. So we could either just lock suffixes and Veiled Chaos to get a nice Veiled modifier, or we could, hmm, or we could reforge life and hope. If we had an open suffix, what we could do is lock prefixes, reforge speed, or something like that. But I'm gonna go for one, hmm, let's go for one reforge life. So we're gonna go suffixes cannot be changed, 2x, and then head over here and go reforge life. So I wouldn't recommend this because it's quite expensive and the chance to get tier one isn't very high, but we can give it a shot. Yeah. Very yikes. Damocles has other plans for us. I actually ended the video, but no, I spoke to him. He wants to go for the Anul, which I would uh, strongly discourage, but they are his gloves. So let's try remove crafted mods. I, oh god, I don't like this at all, man. We want to annul dexterity. We, oh, we lost elevated. Yep. Back to the drawing board. Here we go. Uh huh. Wait, do we have it? Yes, we have a double influence one, so now we can get this. Please elevate. And we did, we did, we did. Brilliant. All right, crisis averted. Now we just need to get another pair of culling strike gloves and then we can try again. All right, we're in a similar position that we were before. We have our culling strike. Just double check. It's the only one that says of the conquest. It is. And this one, elevated hunt. Cool. So click this one. It'll be destroyed. Click this one and... Interesting. Chance to avoid being stunned and increased duration of ailments on enemies. Is this 
I don't know if this is good enough to keep. We're definitely going to have to reforge keep suffix. But I actually think that chance to avoid being stunned is a really good final suffix. It's one of those mods that a lot of people overlook. But being stun immune is actually really, really strong. So what we're going to do now is reforge keep suffixes and... We're going to do a few and there's a tiny, tiny chance, like a 1% chance that we get generic damage over time. I'm not really expecting a whole lot, but maybe, maybe we get lucky. Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, stop. Perfect. Okay, okay, okay. I think we're done. I think we're done. Wow. So, Poisonous Concoction, I believe, is a projectile. Okay, well, I'm glad we kept going. That was a ridiculously good Reforge Keep suffix. I think the best way to finish this off is just to craft on life. There's not really a ton of good Ashling mods that are worth going for. The one thing that could be good would be to go for life and then bench craft on damage during Flask Effect, but I don't think... I don't really think it's worth going for that gamble. So here are the gloves. Tier 1 projectile attack damage, benchcrafted life culling strike, and chaos dart, and chance to avoid being stunned. Now, we have an open final prefix. What do we do with it? I think we're going to go for a Leo Slam. So this works exactly like an exalt, but it's 40 chaos instead of one exalt. So, I'm not going to block anything. I'm going to keep the life on because what would be really scary is if we hit tier 10 life and it just kind of breaks it. So, let's see what we get. 1 to 2 physical damage to attacks. I mean, it's better than nothing, but <laughs> yeah, could have been worse. <laughs> but here are the gloves completed in all of their glory. So let's give them a quick price check and see what they might be worth. All right, there are three. So this one eh, doesn't have very much life. This looks like someone who tried to reforge life and failed. I'm not really sure. This one, very nice suffixes, but the life also is a bit sad. This is the, the bench crafted mod that could have been very good. You can only unveil this from specific intervention members so you can't just use availed chaos to get that and here is someone <laughs> this is someone who has given up this is someone who has done reforge life 20 times and is just like screw it i'm done still got the suffixes cannot be changed so these ones over here you might be able to sell these for like 20x if not maybe a little bit more i'm not exactly sure but they're they're great for poisonous concoction but that's going to be it for this video. Thank you again to Damocles for providing this craft to us. It costs about 11x to make. Definitely worth a hell of a lot more than that. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Stay safe. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.